Well, it's, it's fun. That's the best part of the job is to see these guys kind of, kind of come in green in the fall and they come in and they uh, really develop throughout the year and you know we've had a, uh, an outstanding leadership group from day one that I think has helped set the tone and, and uh, you know for us uh, it makes my job easier as coach but uh, you know it's fun to see these guys move along and develop and you know it's been a hard fought battle but we've uh, earned what we've got so far. We have a lot of personnel that can be in a different ways you know we have strong goaltending our, our D can play shutdown type hockey and our forwards can put the puck in the net so you know, I don't feel we really have weaknesses on our team uh, when we're at our best. Um, obviously, uh, you know, if we're not skating and not working and competing, that's when we get, you know, cause problems. But overall, I'm real confident with this group. Uh, fine uh, group of young men, and, uh, you know, I'm proud to, to stand behind you in the game. It's a brotherhood, right? It's, that's, that's what you miss as a, as a coach, you know, um, not being able to go out there to, to battle with your teammates every day. But uh, it's the next best thing, and, and you know, kind of being on, on the younger age of the coaching spectrum, it's kind of kind of like being a big brother to all these guys, and um, just having that camaraderie every day. The group of guys are great this year. Uh, we've been very fortunate here. To, uh, they get along very well off the ice and on the ice. They push each other to to have the greatest success, which is a real nice thing when when they're pushing each other in a positive way to make each other better daily, uh, whether it's uh, practice or in the gym, they, they want the best out of each other and I think that helps not only in the success uh, individually but as a team as well. Here in Minot we're really fortunate. Um, we actually have three gyms that we can go to at any point during the week. Well our off-ice stuff uh, I think is, is lined up exactly like a college team would. Uh, we put in time at the gym Monday and Tuesday. Uh, you know, we, we structure that with the amount of rest that they need as well, but we're looking to make these guys bigger, stronger, and faster. The team workouts are um, really beneficial for all the guys. I mean, it's just another time that we can get together as a team and um, kind of put the work in that you need to to get um, to the next level. It's top of the line here in Minot. Um, the Toros uh, get great treatment here. We get you know unlimited sticks, pants, helmets, gloves. The locker room's fantastic, and uh, unlimited ice time. So um, it, it's a it's a great place to play. It, it's truly a blessing and a privilege to be playing here. The Toros kind of ride in style. We are really fortunate to have a, a really good accommodation in the bus. We have um, a few flat screen TVs. We have some um, really comfy chairs up front, and then um, towards the back we have. Uh, I think a total of 12 bunks that guys kind of transition in and out of and are able to get sleep when needed. Minot's lucky to have the Pepsi rink here at the Mesa Arena. Uh, a brand new facility, 2300 seats and uh, just a perfect junior rink. Our dress room is brand new, uh, 25 oak stalls. Each individual gets their own stall and then uh, just a nice area for them to call home and to spend time to stretch out, to get ready for games, watch video, do all those things. And It wouldn't be possible with the support of the local businesses here in town. We had 12 businesses that contributed. Uh, they all put in either product or labor. Um, you know, it's over a $90,000 dress room. Uh, when you can get a rink that's 2,300 people uh, sold out, and we've been up there a few times already. Uh, we've put on pretty much a half season here. Uh, the crowd is just amazing. Our fans are loud. Uh, it's an electrifying uh, arena to play in, and you look at our home record, and it speaks for that. I was uh, surprised and uh, entertained by all the skill and how the speed of the game here in the NHL, and uh, all the commitments in college, and the amount of players that come out of here ready for the next level to go to college. Obviously, a lot of commitments come out of it, and there's a lot of good players, especially within our division. Um, it's a battle every night, and. Uh, definitely makes you better as a player. Uh, our central division is very tight, very close. Uh, you know, with Bismarck, Austin, Aberdeen, Brookings, and the Wilderness in there, it's a tight division and it's a race. It's a race every night, um, and it just shows the parity in the division too as well. Uh, it's good for our guys. It's healthy competition when there's those rivalries. Not only with Bismarck, that's 106 miles away, but Aberdeen, that's in South Dakota. My billet family that I've never met before, they came and picked me up from the airport. They have shown me nothing but great hospitality. Um, now, being living with them for many months now, they treat me as one of their own. I'm basically one of their sons, and I could not have had a better billet family watching after me all these past months, and I really appreciate them very much. Our community involvement is huge. Uh, again, in order for a junior hockey team to stay in a community for a long period of time, you have to get back to the community. With the Building a Future program here in Minot at the elementary schools we have uh, reading programs along with uh, extra activities like uh, floor hockey and gym classes so 
yeah, seeing the kids smile and that relationships we build. You know, before you know it, they uh, are looking forward to us coming in every Thursday, so it's pretty special. With Minot Boosters, we have the privilege to go out on Mondays and Tuesday nights and play hockey with the Mites, and it's really awesome. I love seeing them smile. I love teaching them how to play hockey. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a privilege to be able to go out there in the city of Minot and see these kids progress and every week and get better and better, and I'm glad we have the chance and the opportunity to come and help them get better at the sport we love and both they love too. It's been a good experience here in Minot. I mean, my first time away from home really, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I, uh, Really couldn't think of anything that would make this any better. The team's been great, coaching staff is great, uh, great city, great built. It's been a good experience.